So I take it you'd like to join me for an adventure, eh? Well, sit back, get comfortable, and strap in for a flight like no other, as today we take to the skies to view the gorgeous land of Muskoka like never before. I'll be your host and personal pilot on this first part of my new adventure series, Float Flying in Muskoka, presented by Adventures with Josh, where we'll travel to all the coolest places in cottage country, giving you a rare bird's eye view of some of the nicest properties in Canada. Today, we're going to be exploring Lake of Bays and the surrounding area. My co-pilot is Philippe another airline pilot on extended vacation from COVID-19. We're flying a PA-11 Piper Cub built in 1946 on Edu 1400 floats. If you would believe it, this bird has 90 horses crammed inside of her and still gets airborne with the two of us on board. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can see the next video if you enjoyed this one. If you didn't, have a lovely day anyhow. So Phil decided to get some morning exercise while I did a recurrent flight so that I'm able to carry passengers. This allowed me some neat shots. Now get comfortable, grab a snack, and enjoy the spectacular views of Muskoka. can take Phil with me, I need to do a few touch and goes to ensure I remember how to land. As luck would have it, three weeks before filming, I ordered audio equipment that would allow me to record in-flight conversations. Unfortunately, that didn't arrive till the day after Phil left for Italy. So for the first few videos, I'll be your armchair guide. Our first spot of interest is Camp Amek, where Phil attended as a boy. It's located on Canoe Lake in Algonquin Park, just northeast of our base on Lake of Bays. First, we're going to see the boys' camp with the girls' camp across the lake in true summer camp fashion. Now this year marks the 100th summer for the camp, which unfortunately will see no campers due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Lake of Bays now, and if you look out your right window, you'll see my bulldozer, making this as close to a crossover episode as I'm going to get. Now sit back and enjoy the stunning views that Lake of Bays has to offer. But first, considering you're still here, you might as well go ahead and click that like button.
Okay, so we're on our way to Penn Lake now, which is just north of Lake of Bays. The town of Huntsville is located here, along with a few other interesting spots that we'll get to in a minute. But first, a train! Trains are one of my favorite things to see from the air. Be sure to check back for episode 3 where we see a few more of them. Can you count how many cars are on this one? takes the form of the Grandview Golf and Country Club. This is one of two gorgeous resort golf courses right beside each other. The other belongs to the Deerhurst Resort, but we're going to get there in due course. Separating them, and up ahead on the right, lies the now abandoned Charlie Delta Hotel One Aerodrome. Now, you'll be able to just barely make out the faded white X's at either end of runway 0523. The facility closed nearly 15 years ago due to a lack of use and insurance issues. So coming into view now is the Hidden Valley Ski Resort, which is nestled at the north end of Peninsula Lake. It's just a small resort with 15 runs, 4 lifts, and less than 500 vertical feet, but it's a pleasant little spot to ski at nonetheless. It mostly caters to the winter visitors of the two nearby resorts and of course the locals of Muskoka. Coming up on our right are a series of resorts. First we're going to see the Deerhurst Resort, which is by far the biggest of the two. And after passing the Deerhurst Highlands Golf Course, we'll see a portion of Grandview, whose golf course we just passed. As we land back on Lake of Bays, that about wraps it up for us today. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button or head over to Instagram and check out Positive Life Force, 
where my adventures are a little more up to date. Join me next time when we explore Georgian Bay about 80 miles west. Till then, make sure to keep the nose right side up.